Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to get the XE IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing IPTV player that works both with M3U links as well as XTM codes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the XE IPTV to your device. First of all, all you need to do is get an app code and loader to your Fire Stick. It's actually super easy to do. Do so, we just go to the search on your device by clicking on that button with the gear icon and go to the search bar. There, just start entering the loader. Oops, it seems I made a mistake. So yeah, it should be the loader, not cut loader. Yeah, so there is the loader application. It already popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it. And that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet we still need to actually set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings on your device. Here we are, you need to click that button with the gear icon. After that, scroll down and go to My Far TV. Let's open it. And here you have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. For you, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which appear for us right here. We open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you need to go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we'll have to go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it and there you find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks and Droid TVs phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Sweden right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, open it, start up the loader, and wait until it opens for you, of course. There, on the left side menu, it's super important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure to click on Home, and then here in the search bar, we'll need to start entering a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on Go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, 
and this way I will be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened, all you have to do is scroll down until you find that list of categories. Then click on IPTV players and a list of apps is going to appear for you. From here, just scroll down a bit to locate XC IPTV player. Let's click on it and then a new web page is going to open up. Now you also have to scroll it down until you find that download button right here. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now we need to click on download and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed of your device. In my case I've got a pretty fast connection, so that's not a problem. Then click on install and wait until XC IPTV application gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't really need them anymore on your device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Then, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Let's open it. And there at the bottom you'll find the XC IP2 player that we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, XC IPTV player is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then you gotta open the application and there you have an option to either use the extreme codes or m you links. So if your live TV provider gave you an extreme code, then you need to enter that link here and then use the username and the password, which you also got from your live TV provider. Then you click on sign in and the playlist is going to appear. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. And if your provider gave you m you link instead of extreme code, that's not a problem. To do so and to use your m you link, you just need to go to the settings in the right bottom corner of your application, you click on settings and just change it to m you URL. In that case, you just enter the link here, click on sign in and the playlist is going to appear. That's it, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.